Hey YouTube, gonna be changing out the transmission fluid on my 2014 Ford Mustang. Got Mercon LV, transmission fluid, a siphon pump, and the filter. First thing I'm gonna do is just put the car up on these ramps so I can get under it. Okay, got the car on the ramps, so now I can just crawl under here and get to the transmission. So I'm coming in on the passenger side. Uh, this is where the drain and fill plug is gonna be, as well as the dipstick. Here's another shot of it, so just need to remove that. So I'm going to use a 19 millimeter to break it free. And then now I'm just going to be spinning this off with my hand to take out that dipstick. So a bolt comes off and then there's the dipstick. And then as you can see, it's getting pretty old and burnt up. So definitely a good time to change this. Now we got to put the siphon tube in here to take out the old transmission fluid. And then as you can see, it's getting pretty brown and dark. And then here's some new transmission fluid to kind of show the difference between the two. Now I got my siphon pump and my bucket ready to get this out. So the siphon can just fit right in here. Just want to put that in deep enough. So just siphoning it into this bucket so I can measure how much I take out. Just got the pump right here. Okay, so pumped out as much as I could. Um, and so just looking at the bucket measurement here, looks like it's a, about three and a half quarts is what came out. Um, so we're gonna have to drop the pan and take out the rest of it. Now I gotta take the pan off. So I got an eight millimeter socket ready and I'll just show you a short time lapse of it. So since it's on ramps, uh, just loosened up these bolts that are more towards the rear of the car um, just to let the rest of the transmission fluid drip out of here. Okay, I took out the rest of the bolts. Uh, so now I got the just the last of it dripping out of here. Um, so we'll be able to measure how much we take out. So now I got the pan fully taken off and this entire glass pretty much filled up. So I'll be able to measure that with the rest of it to see how much to put back in. Okay, and then here's the uh, pan, the oil pan with the old filter in there. And then here's the magnet, so definitely going to want to clean that guy up. Alright, so just going to dump out the rest of the fluid from the filter into the pan and then dump it all together so I can measure it. So I'm just going to put it all in there. Alright, so i got the pan all cleaned up now, so it's all nice and shiny. And then the magnet got that all cleaned up as well uh, weren't too many metal shards on it um, car does have over 100,000 miles so it's what to expect all right and then now we're going to want to put the new filter in right here so that little uh, part that sticks out it's just going to want to slot right in there and it will just hang down um, so just make sure that little orange piece on there from the old filter isn't stuck up in there all right so i got the new filter on uh, so it just hangs down and then we're just gonna put the oil pan on next. Now I got the oil pan back on. Uh, so just did a cross pattern on these bolts just to tighten them down. All right, now I'm pumping in the new automatic transmission fluid. Uh, so if you look here, took out about uh, six quarts, um, a little bit under six, but pretty close to six quarts. And so just pumping this guy in. Almost got all of it in, so it's about one more quart to go here. Gonna put an extra quart in since I took about six quarts out. Um, there was some that spilled on the ground, so definitely want to account for that too. Okay, I put exactly six quarts in and let the car idle for about 15 minutes, so let's check the level. So as you can see, we're almost to that first little marking there uh, where it needs to be. So just going to put a little bit more in. It should be good to go. So I only had to add just a little bit more transmission fluid. Um, car's been driving great and shifting really great after doing that. Um, didn't have any issue before, but this definitely is just some maintenance that was needed. Uh, car has 118,000 miles. I know Ford recommends 150 to change it, but 
as you can see, it was definitely due for a change. So hope the video was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching.